Hi, this is Mike from Richie and Clapper Company. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Toro Soil Cultivator Attachment, model number 23102. This attachment will fit on any of the compact utility loader Toro Dingoes, including the TX1000 all the way down to the wheel driven units. This attachment is great for redoing lawns, prepping for seed, prepping for sod, breaking up clumps and clods in existing turf. A couple things to note on this, this machine can be set right here to go down between two and a half and five and a half inches to really relieve a lot of compaction in the lawn, which will help obviously with your plant growth. The roller attachment in the front is going to give you a nice finish at the end, which will be ready to seed or sod your choice. It can also be removed with these two pins to use it, shorten up the machine, use it more like a tiller to get into tighter areas. That would be just taking off these two pins. That whole assembly would roll out the front. Now I'm going to lift it up and show you the teeth, because those are the important parts. The way this attachment works is it's going to be rotating in this direction, which if you're standing on that side of the machine will be clockwise. The teeth are going to throw the material up against these steel fingers, which will then direct everything down, and then the fresh soil will cover over the top. So it will bury small clumps and clods and everything like that. And then this roller will come along to press everything down. This mold board here is adjustable for different applications. These teeth, as you can see, are pretty worn right now, but they'll still do a good job. Let's do a quick demonstration. When using the soil cultivator attachment, you want to work from left to right because the attachment is offset a little bit and that way there you can cover your tracks. You want to get yourself lined up and basically come in just about level to the ground, lower the attachment with the tines on into the ground and then give it a slight forward tilt of a couple degrees. You want to have it so basically as you're backing up and you're always working in reverse with this attachment, you're feeling the material process and you're seeing a little bit of material in the front corners here basically being kicked back at you. If you come in at a downward angle like this, it's going to try to dig too far into the ground and stall yourself out. So once you get your angle set, basically you can just adjust your angle once and then just back up and feel it go. Here we go. As you can see, it does a pretty good job of chewing everything up. It'll bury that grass, which is just going to become nitrogen for your next round of planting. You can put your seed down, roll it, and be done. Thanks.